Howdy y'all, this is Grey Ghost 55 and I'm coming back with another Bible video. Before we get into this next chapter of Chronicles, I want to say first of all, I'm so glad Midway you guys are okay. He's worried about you man, as well as everyone else. And I wanted to say also to my viewers, whoever, if you sent care packages, whichever way to any state that needed them or if you couldn't do that and you just had to sit and pray I thank you from the bottom of my heart them guys needed out there in all those states who got affected by Helene and now this latest one um, but thank you all again you don't know how much it means to me Without further ado, let's see what happens in this next chapter of 1 Chronicles. First Chronicles, chapter 10. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled before the Philistines and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines followed hard after Saul and after his sons. And the Philistines slew Jonathan and Anadab and Melusia, the sons of Saul. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Saul to his armor-bearer, Draw thy sword and thrust me through therewith lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Saul died, and his three sons and all his house died together. And when all the men of Israel that were in the valley saw that they fled, and Saul and his sons were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, they found Saul and his sons fallen in Mount Geboa. And when they had stripped him, they took his head and his armor, and sent it sent into the land of the Philistines round about to carry tidings unto their idols and to their people. And they put his armor in the house of their gods and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all Gavish Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose all the valiant men and took away the body of Saul and their bodies of his son and brought them to Gabesh and buried their bones under the oak in Gabesh and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his transgressions which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord which he kept not and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it and inquired not of the Lord therefore he slew him and turned the kingdom unto David the son of Jesse chapter 11 then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron saying behold why are they bone and thy flesh and moreover in times past even when Saul was king, thou was he that led us out and brought us in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. 
and David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jabus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jabus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smites the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab, the son of Zariah, went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called in the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about, and Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chiefs of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Israel to make him king, according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had, Joshamim and Hakamite, and chief of the captains. He lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ashite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pasdanum, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where what where was a parcel of ground full of barley. And the people fled from before the Philistines, and they set themselves in the midst of that parcel and delivered it, and slew the Philistines, and the Lord saved them by great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to, to David into the cave of Adullam, and the hosts of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Raphim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And the three break, broke through the hosts of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem. That was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord. And said, My God forbid it me, that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the, the jeopardy of their lives they brought it, therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abasha, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three. For lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them and had a name among the, the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain. Howbeit, he attained not to, not to the first three. Benai, the son of Jodiah, the son of a valiant man of Kabzeel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a shaft, with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benai the son of Jodai, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was an honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. 
also the valiant men of the armies were Ashel, the brother of Joab, Elhanan, the son of Bedo of Bethlehem, Shemoth, the Herorite, Helez, the Peleonite, Ira, the son of Echish, the Tekanite, Abzir, the Ethodite, Sabishia, the Hushushtite, Elia, the Ahotite, Maria, the Nephthatite, Helia, the son of Benah, the Nephthadite, Ethia, the son of Rabbi of Gebei, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benaiah the Petherite, Harad of the books of Gash, Abel the Arbathite, Asmaveth the Bartherite, Eliba the Shabonite, the sons of Hashem the Gazanite, Jonathan the son of Shag the Haranite, Aim the son of Sakar the Hararite, Athepha the son of Ur, Hefer the Matridite, Ajaya the Thelanite, Hezro the Chameleite, Maria the son of Aziba, Joel the brother of Nathan, Nahar the son of Hagari, Zelech the Amorite, Nahari the Betharite, the armor bearer of Job the son of Zerah, Ira the Itharite, Gareb the Itharite, Uriah the Hedite, Zabad the son of Aleah, Adina the son of Shazai, the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him. Hanan the son of Mecca, and Joseph the Mennonite, the Mithite, Uzziah the Ashtarite, Shema and Jael the sons of Hotham the Ararite, Gedeal the son of Shemimri, and Joah the brother of the Hizite, Elidil the Mavite, Jerebia, and Joshua the sons of, of Elenim, and Ithma the Moabite, Aliyah and Obed and Jezeel the Mezabites. Chapter 12. Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself close because of Saul the son of Kish, and they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of the bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin, the chief of Azir. Then Joash, the sons of Shinnah, the Gibeonite, and Jezeel, and Pelet, the sons of Asmatheth, and Barachin, and Jehu, the Anatite, and Amaziah, and Geben, the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Jezeel, and Jonan, and Josabad, the Gerderites, Luzia, Jermoth, and Belina, and Shemar, and Shepheth, and Herphorite, Elkanan, and Josiah, and Azrael, and Joser, and Joshabim, the Korites, and Jonah, and Zebediah, the sons of Jerome of Gedor, and the Gedeites there separated themselves unto David into the hold to the wilderness men of might and the men of war fit for battle that could handle shield and buckler whose faces were like the faces of lions and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains Ezra the first Obadiah the second Eliab the third Mishnah the fourth Jeremiah the fifth Adia the sixth Elia the seventh Joanna and Ethan, Elzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Macbaini the eleventh. These were the sons of Gad, captains of the host. One of the least was over a hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks, and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. 
and there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, my heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye come to betray me to my enemies, seeing there is no wrong in my hands, the God of our fathers look thereon and rebuke it. Then the spirit came upon Amaziah, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, on thy side, thou son of Jesse. Peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thy helpers, for thy God helpeth thee. Then David received them, and they made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not, for the lords of the Philistines upon advisement sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Saul, to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziglag, there fell to him to Manasseh, Adonah, and Josabad, and Jadil, and Michael, and Josabad, and Elihu, and Zilthea. Captains of the thousands were of the Manasseh, and they helped David against the band of the rovers that they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him until it was a great host like the hosts of God. And these are the number of the bands that were ready armed to the, to the war and came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him according to the word of the Lord. These, the children of Judah that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred ready armed to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. And Jodiah was the leader of the Arnonites, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred. And Zadok, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house, twenty and two captains. And the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, three thousand. For hereto the greatest part of them had kept the word ward of the house of Saul. And of the children of Aphron, twenty thousand and eight hundred mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name, to come and make David king. And of the children of Iskar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know that Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruments of war, fifty thousand, which could keep rank, they were not of the double heart. And of Natalia, a thousand captains, and with them shield and spear, thirty and seven thousand. And of the Danites, expert in war, twenty and eight thousand and six hundred. And of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand. And on the other side of Jordan, of the Reubenites and the Gedites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instrument of war for the battle, a hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make David king of all Israel. And all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh them even unto Iskar and Zebulun, and of Tele brought bread on their on asses, and on camels, and on mules, and on oxen, and meat, meal, cakes of figs, and bunches of raisins, and wine, and oil, and oxen, and sheep abundantly. 
for theirs was joy in Israel. And that, my friends, concludes these first chap, uh, these chapters of First Chronicle. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. I know I do. But guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for your prayers for those who suffer from the hurricanes. And thank you so much for taking the time to listen. But you should remember. All glory goes to God. Until next time, this is Grey Ghost 55, out.